The container is for shipping solidified high-level radioactive wastes to fuel reprocessing plants and eventually to the mine must be able to withstand serious transportation accidents without leaking their contents, as this one does in a simulated truck crash. Containers used for shipping high-level radioactive wastes must be designed to survive a sequence of tests. First, a drop from a height of 30 feet, which simulates a high-speed impact against an unyielding object. Next, a drop from a height of 40 inches onto a 6-inch diameter piston to test its ability to withstand penetration. Then the test container is subjected to fire to temperatures of 1,475 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Leak tests are also part of the normal test sequence. To be acceptable, containers must survive rugged tests like these without leaking any of their contents or losing any significant amount of shielding. These rugged containers more than meet federal transportation safety standards. 